So I feel like I've had the best moments of my career in the past three months, but also the hardest time, like on a personal level. And you just need people there to help navigate. <laughs> and I know you've told me before Nashville's a 10-year town. Do you finally feel like you've made it yet? It's so weird, and I don't think this means that I'm not, like, appreciative or, like, content or anything like that, but I don't know if I'm ever going to feel like I made it. And I hope, I, I kind of hope I don't. I feel like I'm the kind of person who's always just like, this is incredible, what a huge blessing, but what's next? Uh -huh. And I'd like to keep that mentality for a long time. Did any song on the album take you out of your comfort zone? Ah, oh, that one's hard. Um, I think they all, this is kind of crazy, but I think they all kind of took me out of my comfort zone in a way. Um, the one that maybe took me out of my comfort zone the least was probably those boots that I wrote for my daddy. Because it was just like, we, that's not hard for me to talk about. You know, a lot of the things that are hard for me to sing about are the things that are hard for me to talk about. For instance, Weekend. Um yeah, and a lot of the other ones, whether it's this one's going to cost me or hold my halo or grease or hillbilly hippie, I feel like those are what Bell Bottom Country means to me. How is your dad doing? He's doing great. He he spent two months in a hospital and from a fungal infection that completely took out the left side of his face. Um, they had to remove his eye, and they had to remove some bones and stuff in his face. He had a stroke on top of all of that. Had nine surgeries in a month and a half. Oh my gosh. He's not supposed to be here. And he's here, and he went to a rehab facility for about three weeks and got home a few days ago. Wow. Has he, he heard the song? Yes, he's heard it. What was his reaction? So, Were you there? Yes, he's a man of few words. I'm talking about, like, <laughs> the only way I knew that he liked a song of mine when I was little was if he was tapping his toe or not. And with this song, I played it for him, and he was tapping his toe, so I was like, all right, check. Um, but then afterwards, he said, that's pretty dang good. So I was like, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's great. <laughs> I just was talking to Thomas Rhett, and I asked him if he had any questions for you yeah. about Yellowstone, and yeah. he wants to know how Kevin Costner is on set in person, but he wants – he said he wants the real deal, don't like okay. code it. Well, this is this is the thing. I was in several scenes as Kevin, but I never got to shake his hand. Okay. Because he pretty much, he's such a busy man. I mean, I think they pretty much like put him in the scene and then pull him out. And um, he's, he's the only one on the cast and crew that I didn't like get to know. Uh, Beth, she's a dear friend of mine now. She is bad to the bone, but also the sweetest person in the entire world. So Thomas Fred, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do my research, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's other musicians on Yellowstone: uh, Ryan Bingham, Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes. Do you get to sing with, uh, or write any songs with them? I hadn't got to yet. Okay. Um, this was such it was like fast pace. We're in the middle of touring as well as filming, and so we would go out there for two days and film, and then come back the next week and. Um, it was just crazy with everybody's schedule, but I'm sure we'll be able to put some on paper soon. All right. And finally, rapid fire Yellowstone questions. Just yes, no, or no comment. All right. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Did you fire a gun while filming Yellowstone? No. Do you get to kiss anyone? No comment. Are there any more kissing, any more than kissing scenes? No. Does Kevin Costner smell like morning pine? Probably. That's not us. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Did you steal anything from the set? I have to elaborate. And I have not told anybody this, okay? Okay. So I'm going to tell y'all right here. Okay. And it's not technically me stealing. But there was one day where I showed up on set and I was like, I don't have deodorant on. <laughs> <laughs> I went into the bunkhouse. And I literally think props that have probably been sitting there since season one. I use somebody's razor and I use somebody's deodorant. <laughs> and I've been waiting to tell somebody. And I'm so glad that I finally, I got to, I feel better. I feel like a weight has been lifted. <laughs> I'm glad you told us that. Um, <laughs> is Beth Dutton the character you're most like in real life? Probably so. Uh, do you curse any or use any bad words? No. Uh, could you be back for season six? Possibly. Did you drink too much with any of the cast members on Yellowstone? No comment. Is Taylor Sheridan as handsome in person as he is on TV? Yes. 
Should we be afraid of Cole Hauser? No. Okay. Um, were there any songs from Bell Bottom Country inspired by your time in Montana? No, because I wrote most of them beforehand. I did write some specifically for the show, um, but I've got some ideas of brewing now. Okay. Did you get to choose the song you sing on Yellowstone? Team effort. Uh, there's a picture on Instagram of you and Ian Bowen looking comfortable together. Are you just friends? Yes. Did you do any songwriting with Ryan Bingham? No. And finally, are fans going to like your character? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Bell Bottom Country. Go pick it up. That's Check it, it out. It's amazing. Thank you, Lainey. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you.